Have you ever noticed a child struggling to complete everyday tasks like writing, getting dressed, or lining up after recess? They might be dealing with motor planning challenges. Today on Motor Monday, we're talking about how you can spot motor planning difficulties and simple ways to help kids build these essential skills. Plus, I've got some fun free resources that you can start using right away that I'll share with you at the end of this video discussion. So I'm Margaret from Your Therapy Source, here to help you and your students succeed in the classroom and at home. And today, like I said, we're talking about motor planning. What exactly is motor planning? It's the brain's ability to organize and carry out the steps needed to perform a movement. Imagine all the steps involved in something like tying shoes. You have to grab the laces, loop them, pull them tight, all in the right order. That's a really good example of motor planning in action. When motor planning is strong, kids can smoothly and easily complete tasks. But when there's challenges, even routine activities like holding a pencil, getting ready for gym class, or following multi-step directions in the classroom can become really frustrating and time consuming for students who struggle with motor planning. So let's talk about some skills that require higher levels of motor planning during the school day. It affects so many school activities. So here's just a few examples. <clears throat> Find motor tasks. Think about handwriting, using scissors, zipping up your coat, packing up a backpack with gross motor activities, running, jumping, climbing on the playground. They all rely on good motor planning and especially sports, a physical education class, and then transitioning from one classroom activity to another, that requires motor planning skills. Or following multi-step instructions require strong motor planning skills. So let's talk about how you can spot some motor planning deficits. How can you tell if a child's having trouble with motor planning? And here are a few signs. Maybe they're hesitating before they start a task. The child may seem unsure or slow to get moving when given a new activity. Perhaps they're clumsy. They might bump into things a lot or drop objects more often than their peers. And they have difficulty following multi-step directions. We've said this a few times. If you ask a child to follow a sequence like cut out a shape, glue it onto the piece of paper, uh, color the picture, they may struggle with remembering and carrying out each step in the right order. They can exhibit frustration with new tasks. Children with motor planning difficulties may avoid or get easily frustrated by learning new games or skills, again, especially those involving multiple steps. So there's some practice activities that we can do to help improve motor planning skills, and it can be strengthened with practice. So here are some simple actionable activities that you can try. Obstacle courses, this is great. It challenges the children's ability to follow those multi-step directions and motor plan. So they can crawl, jump, throw bean bags, balls. These challenges, these types of challenges make them think ahead about the next step and adjust their movements as they go. We have a great freebie at your therapy source. It's called Clothespin Ninja. You can search your therapy source for it. So kids use some clothespins to match up um, cute little illustrations where they're doing different ninja moves and the kids can practice their fine motor skills and their gross motor skills by copying these full body activities. There's also a dance party printable and kids love to move and this free printable from your therapy source makes it even more fun. It combines different dance moves that kids have to follow in sequence so it's an awesome way to work on motor planning and listening skills. Simon says, if you don't want to have any activities or anything you need to do, any sort of Simon says or movement in imitation games, these are perfect for practicing motor planning. The children have to listen, watch, and then plan out their movements to copy what they see or hear. So motor planning is crucial for kids' success at school and in daily life. But with the right support, they can improve these skills and gain more confidence. So don't forget to go check out your therapy source and you can download that free dance party printable, the clothes pin ninja activity. We also have a move like me freebie. So go ahead and search those or check the comments. I'll put the links there. Thanks for watching this video on Motor Monday. I hope these tips help support your students in a fun and practical way. 
So I'll see you next time for more actionable ideas and free resources from Your Therapy Source.